to this video. Today we are going to be making some pumpkin dog trees. So here we have Maple and I'm going to show some clips of both the dogs in just a little bit, but we're going to make them some pumpkin dog treats. We already pre-measured everything, so we'll be ready to go, but I'll quickly go through as we're putting everything into the mixing bowl and let you know what we're using. Yeah, things may get a little messy, who knows? <laughs> And this is our first attempt, so it's not like we practiced this and then now we're doing it for real. No, like, this is our first attempt. So we actually are using this video from Gone to the Snow Dogs, How to Make Halloween Dog Treats. And I'm actually gonna link it down below. So I watched this one, it didn't look too hard. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> Wish us luck. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Brittany and this is... Jeffrey. He's my brother. I'm hoping that we can get a lot more fun videos of things like challenges and cooking and all sorts of fun stuff. First thing we're gonna do is preheat the oven to 350. All right, Jeffrey, first thing we need is two and a half cups of whole wheat flour. Okay, let's try to get this without spilling. All right, next thing we need is pumpkin. So this is just a pumpkin puree. It has nothing fancy in it. And yeah, let me get you a spoon. Yeah. Hers is more like puree pureed, so we might need to use more water than she did. Yeah. Aren't you so excited? Yes. Do you guys want some treats? He's like, yeah. Look at his ears. Is your uncle making you treats? So this was half of a cup. Okay, do not break this. You break, you buy. You break, you buy. <laughs> You're cute. Here, you want some? You gotta both share. You want it? You're cleaning the cups? Choose cleaning the cups? You're so moody, the maple. So good. Next up is half a cup of peanut butter. It's this is the creamy kind, but you can definitely use crunchy, whatever you prefer. There's a certain ingredient in peanut butter. Um, that they had started making that's not good for dogs. So if I can find it, I'll actually list it here. So just make sure that whatever peanut butter you're giving them doesn't have this ingredient. Okay, I just Googled it. Make sure that whatever peanut butter you give them doesn't have xylitol or whatever the sweetener is. Do not give your dogs this type of peanut butter. Is that good? You have to share, because sharing is caring. Hey, hey, won't you? If you share, it's half the calories. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna add two teaspoons of cinnamon and one teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, Jeffrey, now we're gonna mix it and mix it and mix it. Bump <laughs> hard. Do you know what song that's from? What song? The Ariana Grande. Which one? She's like, mix it and mix it and mix it. I gotta look, I'll look it up. I don't know which one that oh is. Oh my goodness. I'm not a super fan. I know someone's probably gonna be like, comedy. <laughs> you don't know that song? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> It's okay, I will teach him. Okay, so the other thing they said was to use half a cup of water, but only use as much as you need. So we're gonna add some in, but we still want it to be like a little bit crumbly. You guys, this actually smells really good. Technically we can eat it, it just won't be sweet. I mean, it will be a healthier, healthier alternative to a cookie. Okay guys, so at this point, I'm actually going to get a little dirty and get my hands in here and really like mash it up because I think we've done as much as we can do with a spoon. I feel like we might need a little more water. Get like a fourth of a cup and we'll see. Okay, go ahead. Pour the whole thing? Yep. So far we have three fourths of a cup of water added. Okay, so here are the cookie cutters that we are gonna go with. We're gonna go with the classic bone shape, of course, dog treats. And then we're also gonna do a few of the stars. How's it going over there, Jeffrey? It's good, it's like solid now. Do you wanna try a little bit? Do not eat my finger. Don't eat my finger. Sorry, can't record. Here's a little bit for you. Do you like it? Okay, now we're gonna bake that, okay? We don't have a rolling pin, but this would be an awesome time to use a rolling pin. Like what else could we use? We found a cup. I don't think we want it to be too thin. All right, you ready? Yeah. And then let's test it out. Got it. How cute. Okay, let me get a pan. Okay, we'll see how this goes, but this is supposed to be a nonstick pan. We'll see. Wish her luck. You're just being so patient. Yes, you are. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Yeah. <laughs> For the record, Jeffrey was a lifeguard. Sure. <laughs> and how long do they bake for? 25 minutes and then check them to see if they need any water. Tons of treats. Okay, you ready? Oh. Go ahead. Maple mm -hmm. just keeps scooting hers around. She ran. She's gonna take longer to eat hers. What she said already gone. Is that good? He's looking for more. Did you eat all yours already? You ate it in one bite. Mochi, did you chew your food? She's eating the same one. I didn't give her another one. Okay, so we are curious as to how these um, pumpkin dog treats taste because I mean, it's all ingredients that you would find in anyone's kitchen. Okay, so let's go ahead and taste them. I mean, they're not gonna be sweet, but a little biscuit. There you go. Oh, ready? Tastes like a roll, mm -hmm. like, like a dry roll. It actually like a roll. You're stranded on an island. There's nothing to eat. Just get some coconut from the tree and just sprinkle it on there. Dip these in some coffee. That would be good. But we ate the whole half, so. It wasn't terrible. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit the like button. And then comment down below what you want us to make next. But thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.